among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, for you are great and do marvelous deeds. You alone are God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour your grace into our hearts, we pray, O Lord, that we may be constantly drawn away from unruly desires and obey your own gift, the heavenly teaching, the heavenly teaching you give us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity, and receive what is good that we may render as offerings to bullocks from our souls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphans find compassion. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. <clears throat> I will leave them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the Jew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I'm like a bird and cypress tree. Because of me, you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. In them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. An unfamiliar speech I hear. I relieve the shoulder of the burden. His hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called, and I rescued you. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. Unseen I answered you in thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, will you not hear me? I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord, your God, hear my voices. If only my people would hear me and Israel walk in my ways, I would fill them with the best of wheat, and with honey from the rock I would fill them. I am the Lord, your God, hear my voices.
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying he is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offering and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our Gospel reminds us of the great commandment. And our Lord Jesus in John's Gospel extended that a little bit more to say, love one another as I have loved you. But if we're able to do the first aspect, to love one another as you love yourself, we're pretty close to the kingdom. I think that next step is then to love with that sacrificial love that God has shown us. And this season of Lent reminds us of that sacrificial love that to love god with all our mind with all our strength with all our body requires that way of time requires that relationship in our lives and so the season of lent reminds us to be devoted to prayer to take that time with the lord to take that time to pray to be in the lord's presence to know the Lord in our lives. Yes, that is true through the entire year, our entire life. But this season of Lent says, let's focus on that. That if we have fallen short throughout the year, let us start again. Let us be reminded of that relationship in our life to have that great focus. To love the Lord in that way of spending time with our God in prayer and likewise in that way of fasting to say lord am i loving myself as you have shown me that is there a necessity to clear out those things that are holding me back those things that i might be loving more than you lord and can i remove them from my life so that you are at the top that i love you beyond all else especially those habits that might get in our way from loving our neighbor or of loving God. And lastly is that way of almsgiving, to say, Lord, I need to love my neighbor as myself, that as I have been fed, help me to feed others. As I have warmth or house, Lord, help me to find the same for others. Lord, help me to reach out to those in need so that I might love my neighbor as myself, so I might love my neighbor in the way that you love me, Lord, in that way of sacrifice and in that way of love. My dear sisters and brothers, let's continue on that process of the Lenten great disciplines so that we might continually grow closer to the Lord, know ourselves better, and love what the Lord and who the Lord loves in loving our neighbor 
throughout this season of Lent and especially throughout our lives. My dear sisters and brothers, we offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord as we offer our prayers. For those for whom we do not agree, may we find common ground with all our neighbors in the pursuit of the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for our public officials, that they seek justice and equity and collaboration in their longing, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear for those suffering from discrimination, May they be recognized as beloved children of God by those around them. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For those who do not know Christ, may their hearts be opened by the love and friendship of Christ's followers. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For those suffering and sick, especially those battling mental illness, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For Edward Joseph, Simiga, in memory of his 100th birthday, and for peace in our world, especially in Ukraine and in the Middle East, we pray to the Lord. Lord for those who have gone before us, may they be rejoicing in the house of the Lord, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for your own intentions. For a friend of mine who is dying, For these prayers and those in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord Loving God, teach us to love your law and obey your statutes, so that we may be the people you call us to be. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. What become for us the bread? Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual dream. Blessed Blessed God. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our sins for the praises and glory of God's name, for our good and the church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we dedicate, that we may be pleasing in your sight and always be salutary for us through Christ our Lord. Amen.
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride. Contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks for this, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of this, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks to have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul the Sixth, with all the saints who have pleaded you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Let not in our sins by the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall. To love God with all your heart and your neighbor as yourself is worth more than any sacrifice.
Let us pray. May your strength be at work in us, O Lord, pervading our minds and bodies, that what, that what we have received by participating in the sacraments may bring us the fullness of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow down for the blessing. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the faithful who implore your mercy, that trusting in your kindness, they may spread far and wide the gifts your charity has bestowed through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thank you, God. Let us pray a Hail Mary for the needs of our church, of our world, and of our community. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Just pray a prayer for our mother and mothers. Mother and mothers, Holy Queen, chosen before all women to be the mother of the Son of God. Mary, my mother, who in your maternity has so sanctified the state of Holy Mother. Imploring me, I come to you. Humbly, I beseech you. Confidently, I trust you. I know that you can, by your all powerful intercession, help me in my need. In you, I take refuge, dear Virgin. Poor and needy, I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your hands. Betray not my own trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid. Dear Mother of Mother, Mother of mothers.